Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel today I will show you my macro settings and what I do when I macro like if I use any boosts my hive comp what uh, the best um, mutations are um, what do I do and stuff like that what is my daily routine okay so I thought why not just begin with my hive so this is currently my hive I need a bit more gifted so I need like two or three more so yeah, I'm working on it. Um, they're soon gonna be gifted. Okay, so let's just get into like here. I see basic B uh, because of the 1.2 X pollen. It's really OP. Like you should definitely get it. Bomber B, yes, because um, all of these point bees drops bomb bees basically. I mean, drops bomb tokens, and those bomb tokens are really nice. So having this extra bomb pull in here will be really good because it will fill up my balloons really fast. So definitely recommend that. Bomb will be same capacity, really OP for a blue hive. Also gives blue bomb, really nice. Also, blue bombs makes a makes the uh, pop star uh, activate as well. So yeah, cool bee, more blue pollen and blue boost, really nice. <clears throat> Looker bee, it's for critical power. Critical power and critical chance are really good, uh, and the focus is really nice to have. So definitely a looker bee. Then stubborn bee. Stubborn bee is mostly if you're gonna stay, if you're gonna macro. So I would change this to like a hasty bee when I'm boosting, or I would change it to a different bee. Depends on uh, what I'm doing, basically. So you don't need it, but be for but for macro it can be good because the um the abilities won't disappear for it won't disappear as fast. So you will have more time to take up the abilities. <clears throat> bubble bee really good bubble pollen and blue bomb really nice so definitely a really good bee to have <clears throat> bucko bee blue field capacity really op blue boost also really nice to have um commander bee critical chance and focus and bus bomb really nice to have focus and the critical chance are really good to have um criticals are just yeah, super op you should have them okay definitely get it don't don't like take them away okay just just keep them okay believe me frosty b blue bomb pull and really op and blue boost and blue bomb plus this is really good b actually like this is really good you should definitely have it <clears throat> Shock B, Shock B, twenty five percent more white pollen, and uh, haste B, hasty. I mean haste <laughs> and token link. So you don't really need this right here, um, but you definitely need a haste and a token link. So this is also same as stubborn B. Well, not really. This is for token link. You can use this when you're macroing, or you can have it when you're boosting as well for the haste. The token link is really nice because when you're macro, you may pick up one token link and it will pick up all of the uh, other tokens so it's really nice to have um diamond b do i need even need to explain this convert rate really op uh blue boost really nice um this isn't like that op but like pretty nice you can also have a thing on this which is b this b equips snow tiara which is really nice so yeah really op blue field capacity also on the different piece like buck b you can have a um, you can have a toy drum if you want to, or you could have a um, you can have a pine cone, which gives more capacity. So really OP. <clears throat> so let's get down to the music base. Okay, so I got four music base right here. You don't really need four. And I got one kazoo as well. So I got five music bee givers. You can you could have only three music bees and it would be all right but i kind of want to have this because i can have it uh, if you got a kazoo definitely use it it's really nice so do i mean to explain this as well um this is okay but this melody right here and the focus and token link like all of these all of these are really good um the melody is super op because it gives you 100 percent critical power for 30 seconds it's super nice super nice basically this is double the critical power you would get if you don't have the melody like if you just if you're just walking around the field and you pick this up this will be doubled doubling like the power that you already have or like 
depends on. It, it may not be doubled at every single time. Maybe my math is wrong. But anyways, this is super OP. You should definitely get it. It helps a lot. And the focus, really OP. Gives you the critical chances. Uh, really OP. <clears throat> And the token link, really good for macroing as well. Now we're going down to the Ninja B. Ninja B, B move speed, kinda nice to have. Haste, really nice. Blue, bo Blue Bomb Plus, really nice. <clears throat> Buoyant Bees. Here are literally one of the best bees for a Blue Hive. So this is the Buoyant Bee, which is, yeah, you have you mostly have a lot of Buoyant Bees. I have 21 right now. You could have 22 depending on how many, like, music bees you have and your tads. So I got, I got 21 and this gives you capacity. It also gives you Blue Bomb, really nice. Before it had Blue, uh, Blue Bomb Plus, which was really good before, but now it's a bit worse, but it's still really good. Um... It has the balloons. Balloons are really OP. They so instead of you like filling up in the field like your backpack space, it will go into your a, a big pro, uh pretend like a big uh percent of the pollen that you're picking up will go into your balloons and it will go down to your hive. So you could sell it. You could sell it for a lot more honey than you would in your normal like um. Uh, container so balloons are really really OP also they give you this OP boost right here honey a type and more capacity really nice okay <clears throat> and when they're gifted they give you this surprise party really OP like you can see all of the stats I'm not gonna say it but here are all of the stats it helps a lot um, definitely recommend to get uh, a lot of uh, boy and beast depending on how, if you get an alt and stuff like that so now it's time for the fussy bee fussy bee you can actually use it it's really op um you can boost the field if you have a alt that has a lot of fussies i have a alt that only has four which is all i mean or um yeah four which is all right um all of them are gifted so that's really good um but i'm not sure maybe i will get a bit more just to like be just to have a really good um alt so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna remove this or not i'm feeling like i kind of want to keep it right now it's really op boosts the field I, it's a really good b so let's go to the tadpoles these are actually really important as well these are giving you the like the bubbles that makes so you can have a tie blessing and keep your bubble bloat up. But if you have an alt, you can keep your bubble bloat but not your tie blessing. Um, you you have to pop a bubbles with your wave to get the tie blessing, and if you don't have any tadpole uh, tadpoles, you're not gonna get this right. You're not gonna get it. So you need to have a couple of tadpole bees also you have to, you want you really want to have them gifted as well because they're gonna give you the baby love tokens the baby love tokens are really op when they're gifted they can only like they can only drop it when they're gifted so i definitely recommend it um the baby love tokens give you like two percent two two x more pull and a 50 percent loot lock so it's a really nice thing to have and if you have all of uh, all of your tadpoles gift that you should be able to like keep up a baby love all the time which is really nice to have so yeah definitely recommend to have a lot of tadpole bees but don't have like too many depending on if you have a if you're max ring alone then you may have like 10 tadpoles just to like keep that um to keep the bubble bloat up and you're to have a high pop star basically to earn some cash but I'm macroing with a friend and my alt, so I can change a lot of my some of my tadpoles into a um, into a <clears throat> a different like into more buoyant bees basically. So I don't have to have a lot of tadpole bees in my hive anymore. So that's really good to have. Um, yeah, definitely recommend this uh, bee if you you know it's really good basically. There's nothing more to say about it. <clears throat> yeah so you can oh also when you're gifted they can spawn this frog with a gifted thing on it it's really nice also if you're like it can spawn if you if you, you're if you're under like one of these it can spawn a golden bubble and i'm pretty sure it gives like some extra pollen and stuff like that it's really nice let's go let's go down to the event bees 
Bear be really OPB, obviously. Every single hive should have this. Bear morph, two times more pollen, really OP. It can give you more speed and jump as well. 10% uh, more pollen. It's just a really good bee, basically. Definitely have it. Um, okay, so, like, the this event bees, uh, you could have it, but not for your blue hive. But, yeah, you, you, you don't need it for a blue hive. Um, some people use it, actually, like the cobalt bee, just for the torch. I like the toy horn to have a bit of extra music, but I don't recommend to have it. Okay, I don't, I don't really recommend it. Um, the digital bee, the digital bee is really good for boosting and doing mobs. When you're, when you're macroing, you don't need it. It's really bad for macroing because you can't like you can't be under this thing all the time when you're macroing. Like you're, you're not gonna get the glitches like the double like the duplication glitches glitches when you're macroing. So. Not the greatest bee if you're only gonna macro, but if you're doing boosts and you are current like uh, actively like fighting mobs and doing bug ro like the the, um, the runs down there like the robot challenge and uh, stick bug and stuff like that, then it's a really good bee to have because it glitches and stuns the enemies so they like they stop for a couple of seconds so you can like so all your bees can like attack the bee and it's gonna be a really good bee also like the glitch things for when you're boosting is so OP as well you can get a, like a double bear morph and it's so OP definitely recommend this bee <clears throat> gummy bee it's an overall really good bee gives you honey pear pollen really nice and a glob and gumdrop uh, Gundrop Barrage, really good. You don't need it for a red hive apparently, but I'm always gonna keep my Gummy Bee. I really like it. You definitely need it. Keep it, okay? Keep it for a blue hive. So that was basically it. You could run a Windy Bee, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not needed. It will take up all of your speed and yeah, it's just not needed. But you could you could use it like to pop bubbles and stuff if you don't got the um if you don't got it uh the um, tide popper okay <clears throat> so that was basically it for the hive comp now we'll go into like my like my macro settings and stuff like that to show my natural settings i have to go on like the vmware's uh things because here is where i macro um this is my natural settings um so i do pine tree field drift compensation uh, the corner thing shapey. I don't know. You don't need to use it. You could use e laws and some other things. Just depending on what you want to do. I use this. I don't know why, but I just do it. Medium with three thirty-five minutes, ninety-five percent backpack to walk, too high by. I actually do walk. I don't know why, but I have it on walk. You don't need it on walk. I kind of figured out like it actually may be a bit faster sometimes because. If you just reset, okay, you will get to your hive faster, but your bees, they will need to go to your hive, and then they will need to respawn to, like, to wake up again. So I think it's, sometimes it's actually faster to walk to your hive, because usually you have a couple of speed, like, speed tokens. So usually, the, I would say this is faster, and you get a bit of extra honey when, you, when you're filled, like, your backpack. I use 35 minutes just because like I want uh, as long as time as possible in the field so I can earn as much honey as possible. Upper left with your sprinkler, distance 7. Um, yeah, this is that for that part. Collect and kill. I use clock, really nice to get some extra tickets. Feast to get some bitter berries. Candles to get some um, uh, waxes if unlucky. Glue for extra glue is really nice. Uh, I do spider and scorpions. You could do others as well. I like you kill you kill some of the mantises and werewolf because you're macroing in pine trees, so you don't really need to put on these two. Um, if you you may put on these if you want to. I'm not gonna do that though. On the boost, I use uh, this like the HQ field boost is blue. Obviously, here sometimes I have glitter and like enzymes and blue extract on if I want to. Uh, make a bit of extra honey uh, quests. Sometimes I have polar bear on if I just want to do that. Um, planters, this is my planter settings. Uh, that was on 
two for some reason. Okay, that's not too good. Gotta fix that. So yeah, th these are these settings, I guess. Um, mm, let's get into, okay, that, that doesn't matter too much. Here you can see this. This is my speed. I don't use hasty. This is my private link server, which you cannot see because I'm not ring. <laughs> um yeah these are basically that contributors yeah this doesn't matter too much so that's for my natural i'm gonna show you my ses right now okay so these are my ses settings right here so i use ses because sometimes because it makes more honey for me sometimes so clock blue boost as the same it's also a bit easier to like to maintain it's easier to do pine tree lines i like this uh thing with medium things um my private server you can't see that um these are all of those this is the only problem with the ses macro it's hard to maintain four nectars at the same time so i only maintain three sadly uh quest sometimes i have these on um bug runs i actually don't have any on that was with i didn't i didn't know why i have I didn't have any on, that was a bad thing of me. Boosts, um, this was my glitter, this was my uh, blue extract, I mean, my enzyme and blue extract. <clears throat> calibration, um, yeah, these are these calibration. The same things, basically, and yeah, that's basically that. Uh, that was my uh, macro settings. <clears throat> Let's get into the mutations. Okay, so the best mutations to have is the convert amount. You definitely have a lot of convert amount. Um, it's really OP because you want to convert as fast as possible, obviously, so you can like earn a bit more honey. Um, the the B ability rate is also a really good one. You definitely want this and convert rate. Those are the best ones. Uh, Ability rate will just make um, the tokens spawn faster, so basically you can get more of the party, the party balloons, and more normal balloons, so you can f so you can get a bigger balloon. <clears throat> Gather, you don't really need this one. I would just say get this uh, if you're lazy. Like if you get one of these, save it. If you don't want to use too many bitter berries, you don't really need it. The best ones are convert amount and be a build rate. You should only go for those. But some of the bees, like you may you may think of your like where's my gummy bee bro? Um my gummy bee up here, it has be a build rate. So it's really nice to have. Because this will make it spawn more of the tokens, which is really good to have. So I really like that. Um same here, you may want be a build rate here as well. To, to make it spawn extra same on your music bees you kind of want to have be able to rate on them it's just really hard to get be able to rate so definitely try to get that because the music tokens are really op so yeah that's basically it and that was basically for a whole blue hive so my daily routine as i said uh it's basically just macro and then boost a couple of times and obviously i'm doing i'm trying like sometimes i do a robo challenge in one day and sometimes i go over here and do this it's not that often though because i'm just doing so many other things right now i'm playing so many other games i'm like i don't know i don't i'm not as happy with beast farm as i was before i don't have that same you know be strong grind feelings anymore like i'm only at rank seven you know <clears throat> i don't have that same feeling to grind this game anymore but i'm still playing it it's still kind of fun but it's just not the same <clears throat> so i guess that was it for this video um don't got much more to say um hope you guys had a good time watching this and if this helped you like with anything please like and sub and tell me that would mean a lot to me so yeah goodbye everyone and have a great day please like and sub